Today I'm in the Mojave Desert, again. And I know what you're saying. We've already seen a whole bunch of stuff from the Mojave Desert. We've seen the really old bush and whatever else there is, so what else could there possibly be? And I understand that. I mean, it's there's still Native American petroglyphs and thousands of mines and probably thousands of dead bodies as well. But today we're investigating the Mojave Megaphone, right here also known as the Sentinel Enigma, and no one knows what this is. Now there's tons of theories whether it's an old drum, an antenna, some sort of Venturi flow meter, or some amplifier for a siren for the local area, but the reality is, is that no one really knows for sure, and anyone who does isn't saying anything. It's bolted to two rocks up here on about a 150 foot hill overlooking a whole bunch of nothing. Made entirely out of iron steel, welded, not very well, together. And it probably weighs six to eight hundred pounds. Which means that if it, even if it was brought up in sections, which it looks like it was because it was bolted together in the middle, it means that someone, a really strong someone, or a group of people had to drag three to four hundred pound sections up this rock hill and affix it into place, which was no easy task. It might have even required some sort of structure to be built to actually put it into place. It looks like it was bolted to the rocks using some sort of old railroad equipment, some sort of spacer. And the material all seems to be secondhand, not, a, not really built for the object. In the middle is rebar, two different types of metal, and again the welds around it that hold it up and support the structure are done by a novice. It's not pointed in line with any common wind pattern, so to think that it's some sort of wind instrument doesn't really make sense either. Another theory is that it points to a hidden gold mine, but unless whoever put this here also put the rocks here as well, that doesn't really make any sense. One particular theory was that it amplified a siren to let the local area as well as a train that runs nearby know that the US Army was conducting some sort of chemical weapons test, or that gas was being released in the area, and to, I guess, stop the train or don't go outside. I'm not really sure what the, the theory goes for in order to explain that. Your classic mystery theories would say that this is some sort of government object that it was built for the military or that aliens were involved because whenever we can't explain anything the obvious answer is aliens. And if it was made for the military I get that anyone who's been in the military knows the old saying made by the lowest bidder but this takes it a little too far. The welds are terrible, amateurish and it's pretty much homemade. Now on the internet there is a message board where someone who goes just by the initials RT said that if you take really good look at the attachment points on either end on those little veins that you could figure out exactly what it was for and then they claim that it's not a drum, it's not a venturi flow meter, it's not any sort of instrument and all the common theories are completely wrong but he also didn't provide any information as to what it actually is so that doesn't really help. Much like the Utah monolith that's been seen recently of the past few months, it kind of defies explanation as to how it got here and, and really what its purpose is. Personally, my theory is that it's some sort of sculpture or art project, probably from some college out near Los Angeles. And in all honesty, based on the amount of effort it took to get up here, but detracting from just the shoddy welding, I'd give it a B minus. So, until someone can definitively claim, it goes as a mystery. The Mojave Megaphone, also known as the Sentinel Enigma. If you have any idea what it might be, leave a comment as to your theory. But until next time, get lost.